Hey guys! Ever since I made a squishy tutorial, I've had tons of requests to make another one, so I really hope you'll enjoy. And if you want to see me make more of these, do let me know in the comments. I first started out with some makeup sponges. You can use basically any type of sponge you want, and some sponges will create slow rising squishies if that's something you want. The only thing you have to think about is that the more smooth the sponge is, the easier it's going to be to create a smooth looking squishy. For this video, I wanted to include some shapes that were different and slightly more, I guess, advanced than the ones in my previous video. But just in case some of you haven't seen that video, I wanted to include one of the same shapes, which is also one of the most simple shapes you can make. So to create the bun, you first want to cut out a circle from your sponge, and this is going to look kind of like a cylinder shape. And then all you want to do is round off the edges. For the banana, I took advantage of the curve that was already on the sponge. You first want to cut it out from the side view, and then once you've done that, you can cut it from the other side. And you don't have to make it completely perfect, although the more smooth you can get it, the easier it'll be to paint it. And the donut is very similar, you want to cut it out from the front view. Then cut out the hole in the center and smooth out all the edges. Time to paint. I did do this a bit differently than I did in the other video, so I started out by giving all of them a coat of the fabric medium. The reason why I'm doing this is to create a smooth surface so that once you add the color, it's easier to apply it. And as I mentioned in the first squishy video, fabric paint does take a while to dry, so I used a blow dryer to dry the different sections. For the donut, I didn't worry about making it too smooth, just because you do want some of that texture. And then I also didn't worry about covering the top because it's going to have so much frosting that it'll be covered anyways. I got my fabric medium at I think a German website a couple of years ago, so I don't remember what it's called. But you can just search up on Google for fabric medium or check out your local craft shop or fabric store. What I love is that you then just mix it about half and half with your normal acrylic paint and you can use it for painting on fabric. And for all of those asking on the other video, yes, you can use puffy paint. I just personally prefer using normal fabric paint or acrylic paint mixed with fabric medium. The reason why I'm not just using straight up acrylic paint is that once acrylic paint has been dry for maybe a couple of weeks or even a couple of months, it tends to crack and you don't want that with squishies. I also got a couple of questions on the other video asking if you can use watercolors. I wouldn't recommend it just because even if you just apply a thin layer to tint the sponge, any type of moisture can cause it to rub off. 
so it's not very durable. And if you applied a thick layer of the watercolors you can get on tubes, you would most likely end up with cracking. Let it dry completely and you're done.